Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, another edition of Wine with Will. We've got a treat for you today. We're going to the mother country when it comes to wines, and that is France. And we're going to try a little gem from the Alsatian region. Come on back in camera. So Alsace is in the northeastern portion of France, sort of like uh, New York or New Jersey would be if we were talking about America. This is from a producer called Ugel, and the wine itself is called Gentile. Uh, Gentile is a kind of a colloquial term in Alsace that they take the noble grapes of the area and they blend them together. Typically there's white wines, floral wines from this region. You've got a couple reds and a couple sparklers, but the main things you're gonna see from this region are gonna be white wines. And this one is, as they would say, very dip. So let's try it and talk about it. And uh, hopefully you guys will try it and talk about it. And life will be good. Uh, and you gal has been doing this. They've been doing this for a long time. They've been around for uh, 1639 is when they started. So that's old. Um, they would qualify for senior citizens discounts. They would um, probably need, you know, some sort of early bird special when it came to food. Uh, 1639, of what I said, that's back in the day. And uh, let's, let's assume that means they know what they're doing. So this particular wine, this is a 2018. It is a blend of Sylvaner, Pinot Blanc, Gewürztraminer, Pinot Gris, Riesling, and Muscadet. What was the first one? Sylvaner. What is that? All right, so you get a very floral dry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, just testing this well. A very floral white wine, drier. Uh, so a lot of the Rieslings from this region are amazing. They're not sweet, syrupy sweet like you think of when you think of uh, what you get for like by the glass Riesling in a lot of restaurants. And they age, they can put some age on and they are literally amazing. You get uh, um, Ugal as a major producer, Trimbox, another major producer from that area. The, the region itself was controlled by France and then Germany and then France and then Germany up into just right after the World War World War II. So it was a German under German control during World War II. And if you look at the the pictures, if you if you Google Alsace, um, you'll see beautiful German influence architecture and towns. It's, it's a picturesque, like very fairy tale looking area. Let's try the wine. That's amazing. It's dry. A little acid on it. It will do really well with, with food. It will also do well, this is a French term that I looked up, um, with terrasse, which means patio. So you can pair this with your terrasse. You can sit on the patio and drink this. Um, and like I say, it's from Alsace. And so I guess, and I always try to work on a, on a, a funny part of this to, to uh, get hat in the lap is my favorite part. But um, uh, so here we go, are you ready? So I guess you'd say, Will, what do you think about a wine with a producer that's been making wine for hundreds of years with a grape that really does well by itself, pairs well with food, that's interesting and complex and ages well? What would you say about that? Would you say that's a good wine? <laughs> I'll say so. <laughs> I'll say so. <laughs> Get it? Like, <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone. Hey, come back and see us. We're trying to do this more. And I'll say so. You should you should click on your whatever subscribe buttons or whatever. I don't know if we have any subscribe buttons yet, but do it. Wine with Will. Try some wine. Enjoy. Um, and you know, salute. Cheers. Thank you.